I'm going to share five bunny hazards that are in your home. They're just sensitive little souls. So with things like that, you need to just be extra careful. Hello, buns, and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I'm going to share five bunny hazards that are in your home. If you've researched bunnies even just a little bit, you've probably heard of the term bunny proofing. Now, bunny proofing is essentially a phrase that us bun parents have given to proofing our house, making sure our house is safe from our little bunnies. Bunnies chew a lot. So typically when you have a bunny, you will bunny proof your house to make sure that all of your belongings don't get chewed on by your rabbit. If you wanna learn more about bunny proofing, you can watch my bunny proofing video that I did where I bring you guys along while I bunny proof the entire house. Now bunny proofing is great to protect your stuff, but you also want to bunny proof to protect your rabbit. Today I'm gonna to share with you five things that are definitely in your home that you need to make sure your rabbit is away from so they can be nice and safe. Before I get into my list, if this is your first time seeing my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we post videos about all things bunny twice a week and like this video if you found this helpful. All right, let's get into it. Number one is kind of a gimme, but super important, cords. If you have a bunny, then you most likely have dealt with the dreaded cord chew where your rabbit will just take one little bite and your cord is split in half. Now, it's really frustrating for us owners to have to deal with our cords always having to be protected, but it's really good to protect your cords from rabbits too because it's electricity. You don't want your rabbit to get shocked. So while yes, it's important to protect your cords to keep your cords safe, it's really important to protect your cords to keep your rabbit safe. As far as cord protection goes, I really love these just like white tubes. I order them on Amazon in a large pack and I put that on all of my cords that are touching the ground. I also keep baskets around the house where I keep big piles of cords. Between those two things, all of my cords have been nice and safe and Cinnabon has also been safe. Number two, floorboards. So I personally have experience with this. Depending on the type of flooring you have, a lot of times there can be gaps between like the hardwood, or maybe there's a gap in between one piece of flooring to another. Whatever it may be, a lot of times there's gapping in your floors and your little tiny bunny's feet can get stuck in them, specifically their nails. I actually had this happen to me a few weeks ago with Cinnabon. She was hopping over the floorboard. Her little nail got stuck underneath it. It broke in half and then the pain from the bruising on her paw actually led her to go into stasis. So something as small as breaking a nail led to a pretty big medical emergency for us. Now, what can you do about this? One, make sure that your rabbit's nails are always properly cut down. I have a video that I'll link somewhere up here where I talk about how to trim your rabbit's nails, but you wanna trim them about every six weeks so they don't get too long. But even with good nail care, their nails can still get stuck. So what I recommend is laying like a rug or something over areas where there is gapping and covering up the hole. Pretty much with rabbits, if they can get into it, they will, so it's always better to be safe rather than sorry. Number three is food on the ground. Now, while a measly little crumb on the floor is not going to kill your rabbit, they really have good noses, and a lot of times we drop more food than we think. Here's a story for you. The other day, me and Bryant were sitting in the living room watching TV, and I looked down and saw Cinnabon was just munching away on something. I looked closer, and it was a gummy bear. Bryant had dropped an entire gummy bear, and it was kind of big, it was like this big, on the ground, and Cinnabon was like, ooh, snacks and she ate like the head off the gummy bear. She ended up being okay and I monitored her poop and took the gummy bear away before she could finish it. But it's just things like that. I had no idea he had dropped that. I'm sure Bryant didn't know either. But we as people drop things all the time and what may seem tiny to us is pretty big in comparison to a rabbit. So just make sure whenever you're eating, you always keep an eye on the ground. Make sure that you sweep and vacuum continuously and make sure if you're eating food that's really messy, pick up after you're done. Number four, plants. Now let me first start by saying a lot of plants are not toxic to rabbits, but I will say that a lot of house plants are. Of all animals, rabbits are some of the most sensitive, so so many of those fun, pretty tropical plants can actually be really toxic to their tummies. That doesn't mean you can't have plants in your home, but whenever you do have a house plant, make sure it is out of reach of your bunny. I love a macrame hanger. Hanging plants up from the ceiling can be really beautiful, especially if they have those vines that trail down. But if you don't wanna hang things, just put them on a higher shelf. 
I just suggest really doing your research when you purchase a plant to make sure that it is non-toxic. And if it is toxic, just keep it out of reach. Just because rabbits eat greens doesn't mean they can eat all plants. And the very last thing on my list is other animals and or children. I know this is kind of a big broad one, but rabbits are prey animals. I say this over and over, but it is so important to understand that rabbits operate very differently than other animals. Because they're prey animals, it means that they are much less willing to trust and they're not really able to defend themselves against a threat. Now, there are so many stories about dogs and cats having beautiful bonds with rabbits, but it's really important that if you are introducing your bunny to an environment where there are other animals, you are very, very aware of what you are doing and have done the research. Because at the end of the day, dogs and cats are predators and rabbits are prey animals. And now on the other end of that, children. Children are not predators, but children just don't know how to be as sensitive with animals as adults do. Children are loud, children like to grab at things, and two things that rabbits hate are things grabbing at them and loud noises. So if you're considering bringing a rabbit into your home and you have children that are fairly young or you have dogs, cats, I really urge you to think extra hard about doing that because you may think that you can keep them separate, but over time it becomes harder and harder to keep your house segregated like that. And it's not fair to the bunny to always just be cast off into a room by itself. Rabbits thrive when they're in environments where they can be with their family, be with friends. So if they're always gonna have to live on their own, pushed off into another room, I really don't recommend bringing a rabbit home. It might not be the time for you to get one. Now, this is not saying that you can't have children and a pet rabbit. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying you need to be extra careful about the way that your children are handling your bunny. A lot of times bunnies can be thought of as like the starter pet that parents just get for their kids when really they're a lot more effort and probably don't appreciate a child's hand as much as you think. So by me saying that other pets and kids are a hazard, that is me saying that they can be a hazard if not handled appropriately. They're just sensitive little souls. So with things like that, you need to just be extra careful. All right, that is it. That is my list of five rabbit hazards in your home. Comment down below if I left anything out or something that you consider to be a hazard, and I will see you in our next video. Bye, buns.